Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. I've been doing a little bit of fishing lately in the Petaluma River for striped bass and uh, been using frozen anchovies for bait. And um, I was down there last week, there was another guy fishing alongside me and we were both using cut frozen anchovies and he was using size 4 bait holder hooks. I was using size 4 aught circle hooks. So big difference in hook size there. And I was losing more bait than he was, and he thought it was because I was using the bigger hooks. But also, he had his anchovies in a cooler, so they were staying frozen. And I didn't have a cooler, so mine were thawing out. So, um, once the anchovies thaw out, it's hard to keep them on the hook when you cast. So, um, keeping them frozen is the best way to keep them on the hook. But I have learned a couple other little tricks that will help them keep them on there, too. So, uh... Let me show you those. All right, so I have a bag of frozen anchovies here. They come in one pound bags and they're for bait. Um, they're about four bucks a bag. Now I took three out and unthawed them. So these are unthawed, so they're soft. And this is when they're hard to keep on the hook. Now this is a size five aught circle hook. And I've actually caught like, I was catching 10 inch stripers on this size hook the other day. So, uh, it's really not too big for stripers. Um, so what you do is, uh, you know, put it on there. It's going to be soft. So when you cast it, they tend to fly off the hook. So there's this stuff. It's called Miracle Thread. I think there might be another brand. It's called Magic Thread, and it comes in a roll. I think it's about four dollars for a roll of this, and it's stretchy. It's like a I don't know what you call it, elastic, rubbery type of thread. So what you can do is take your bait and just tie it onto the hook. You don't actually have to tie it, you just kind of wrap it, except for it's getting in the way of the line here. I'm going to do it, going to do this. This is kind of a hassle. It's really not my favorite way to do this. You can see the line keeps getting in my way. I got to turn it that way. But it will help keep your bait on the hook. And you can use this for any kind of soft baits. I think guys use this for tying chicken livers on the hooks for catfishing too. Um, see, and you just wrap it, and then after it's gone around, just kind of break the bait in half here. Okay, there we go. I kind of smashed my bait. You can kind of see why I don't like using this. It's kind of a hassle, and especially when you're using two hooks and little stripers keep stealing the bait, it seems like you spend a lot of time tying the bait on there. So I will show you another way to keep them on the hook better that I prefer. Okay, here is my other trick that I actually prefer over using the Miracle Thread. These two anchovies we're outside sitting in the sun. So uh, when you do that, the skin gets kind of hard on the outside of them, and then they'll stay on the hook much better. So once they get unthawed and they're not staying on the hook good, that's what I'll do is just pull them out of the bag and line them up on something and let them sit in the sun. And after 15, 20 minutes, that skin gets nice and firm. And then I'll show you. And I've tried fishing these whole, but I never seem to catch very many fish when I do that. So the fish don't seem to like the heads and the tails. So I just take the head and the tail off and cut them in half. I've seen guys using them whole, but I don't have very good luck that way. Okay, then we take our hook here. And uh, this is a little bit smaller circle hook, but That seems to stay on there a lot better. All the guts just fell out. But the skin is nice and firm, and you can cast it pretty good that way, and the fish still seem to, to bite it real good. So it doesn't seem to affect whether they bite it or not. So that's a trick you can do if, uh, to keep your anchovies on the hook better if you're having trouble casting them because they're unthawed. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.